the Honorable Mark Brantley. Hi, Bruce. How are you both this morning? Very good. Very well, thank you. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And we appreciate your time, Candice. Yes, absolutely. Of course. Thank you. You know, where is the island of Nevis located in the Caribbean? We're in the Eastern Caribbean. We are part of the Twin Island Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. And we are very nicely located, almost in the center of the Eastern Caribbean. Uh, not too far from many of the hubs, uh, such as Puerto Rico uh, or St. Martin. Uh, you can access us very easily, particularly from the eastern seaboard of the United States uh, via any of the main centers, New York, uh, North Carolina, Atlanta, uh, Miami. And so the truth is that we feel that we're really accessible, but we have a very niche market for our tourism product. We uh, cater to uh, a higher end of the market and uh, we are small, pristine, and uh, very beautiful. Uh, the authentic Caribbean, as we like to say, how the Caribbean used to be. And so, Candice, I do this all the time, and so I would like to invite you to come see us, and certainly all of your viewers as well. Thank you so much. I would love that. Nevis is poised to be the greenest island on Earth due to geothermal energy. What is geothermal energy, for those that aren't aware? Candice, geothermal energy really is uh, energy derived from the normal heat flow uh, from the Earth's interior. Uh, there are places throughout the Earth where that heat flow is, is much more than, uh, than other places, and Nevis is blessed with a, a wonderful geothermal reservoir that can be tapped with, with normal drilling technology and generating technology to provide uh, all of the electrical energy needs of the island, and as well, it has the capacity to support uh, all of the surrounding islands. And how is it harnessed? Um, the hot fluids from the subsurface are, are brought to the surface uh, by drilling uh, deep wells. Uh, those hot fluids are run through a heat exchanger and then injected back into the subsurface so there are no emissions at all. Uh, the secondary fluid drives a generator, a typical turbine that you would see any place else. Uh, the fluid drives the turbine, is recondensed and circulated back into the heat exchanger. So there's no emissions at the surface, no combustion, so there's absolutely no carbon dioxide production. And when will this go into effect? Uh, the first plant will come online in December of 2017. So by, by January of 2018, the island will be independent of fossil fuel resources for electrical power. And Candice, I think that that is important, just picking up from where Bruce has left off, because it means that come January of 2018, Nevis flicks the switch on geothermal and becomes overnight the greenest place on planet Earth. Because at that point, 100% of our electricity will be generated from renewables. That is something that is truly revolutionary. It really is transformative, not just for Nevis, but if the potential of geothermal is realized in terms of our export potential, it would mean that Nevis will be able to export energy to the surrounding islands and so become transformative, not just for our island, but also for those islands that are close by. And that means, therefore, that the entire area of the Caribbean can become energy independent and wean itself from fossil fuels and really reduce its carbon footprint considerably. That for us is important because it means that we're not just developing tourism, we're not just selling sun, sea, and sand. We're also creating uh, an environment that the discerning traveler would want to come, want to see, want to be a part of, really and truly an island that is doing it correctly, an island that is doing it in a sustainable way. And that is what we're seeking to do, and hopefully that is what we will become best known for. And what is the impact for neighboring islands? Well, we think the impact is potentially tremendous. That will be hopefully the second phase of this geothermal uh, excursion on which we've embarked. But the impact would mean that just like Nevis, they can access clean energy, they can access renewable energy, they can access cheaper energy. And because in the Caribbean now, we are all dependent on fossil fuel energy, and of course the environmental degradation that that causes, we are all dependent on energy that comes from parts of the world which are not always as calm as we would like. We are dependent on, in a situation where at the whims of energy prices globally. It means that for the very first time, Nevis and the surrounding islands can now have much better control over the energy, the quality of it, the consistency of it, the cost of it. Just imagine the cost of energy being halved for our businesses, 
by our residents and the knock-on effect in our local economy that that will have. And so for us, not just at home, but for the surrounding islands, this is a game changer. Is there any impact on the U.S.? Well, the U.S. involvement uh, is for us significant. Uh, Bruce, of course, is here. He represents a U.S. company that has been tasked by the government with developing this resource. The United States government has also been involved in providing technical support, as, of course, the U.S. is itself seeking to promote the idea of renewable energy, of green energy. And this, of course, for us is important with other nations such as the United States and others. We all went to Paris in November of last year, and we signed for the very first time an historic deal to impact climate change in a very positive way. And so for us, it's a win-win situation for all of us. We expect on this project to use U.S. capital, U.S. expertise, and uh, Bruce, of course, is here as uh, an indication of the commitment that we have from the United States on this particular project. Exactly. And what is Alexander's, uh, excuse me, what is Alexander Hamilton's connection to Nevis, and what do you think his thoughts would be? Candace Hamilton was born in Nevis. Yeah. The guy who's on your $10 bill came from Nevis. In fact, when you visit, not if, but when you visit, we will go visit his home where he was born so that you can see where he came from. As we like to say, the American dream was born in Nevis. He has, of course, impacted the United States in a very significant way. His DNA is all over your financial system here. He founded a town of Patterson, New Jersey. And if you can get tickets now, he's now even lighting up Broadway. And so the truth is that Hamilton, your first really significant immigrant, came to you from Nevis. And so there's that connection. And if he were here today, I think he would say, Candace, please, come visit Nevis and have your viewers come visit us as well. And do either of you have any additional tips or information to share with us? Well, you can learn more about Nevis by going to www.nevisisland.com or simply Google or use any search engine. Type in Nevis, N-E-V-I-S, and a wealth of information will pop up. We certainly look forward to seeing you, and we thank you for this opportunity to share the good news about what a little island in the Caribbean is doing to make itself and the world a better place. Exactly. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, the Honorable Mark Brantley and Bruce. I truly appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule.